Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll walk through the Blender integration upgrade process and show how it can be used to transfer the new shader mapping for CC5 characters and the new CC5 HD Rigify system, which binds facial profile morphs to improve facial animations. First, let's go over the installation and export settings. With the Reillusion Hub open, click on Blender Auto Setup and download the Auto Setup for CC and Blender plugin from the official website. Once installed, return to Character Creator and you'll see a new subdivide function. This feature adding more detail and improving shape definition. However, higher poly counts reduce system performance, so you'll need to adjust the subdivision level according to your hardware specs. The new CC5 Texture Pack now provides both 4K and 8K textures. You'll notice a major improvement in visual fidelity compared to the default 2K textures. That said, extremely high-resolution textures can negatively impact real-time rendering and transfer times. Adjust the texture settings to fit your system's performance and your project's needs. When your character setup is complete, go to Plugins, Export Character to Blender to open the Export panel. Alternatively, you can access it directly from the toolbar. Since we're only exporting a static character, select Select Model under Presets and choose Subdivision 1 for a good balance between visual quality and performance. Then click Export. Back in Blender, click Import Character to bring in the exported model. The Auto Setup plugin includes multiple lighting presets, each with its own style and tone. Simply apply the preset that best fits your scene. Next, we'll go over the use of the new shaders. The character now has many shaders we can adjust. For example, we can use the specular attribute to control the shininess of the skin, or roughness to adjust its moistness. Next, we can also quickly change the color of the hair while using specular and roughness adjustments to increase its reflectivity. For the eyelashes, we can adjust the root and end colors, along with reflectivity and other parameters. For the eyes, we can adjust the contrast of the iris and the shadow regions of the limbus. Of course, a different iris color can also be selected. The cornea shader can be tuned to make the eyeball stand out more. And finally, the sclera normal strength can be changed to enhance the veins and their details. Next, we can refine the occlusion of the eyes by adjusting the shadow regions, strength, and blurriness. Reflectivity and roughness can also be adjusted for the tear lines, with normal details adding subtle reflective variations. Since the CC5 character itself supports a cavity map, we can change the diffuseness and reflectivity of the skin to bring out more surface details. You'll notice that the cavity map in Blender is automatically connected and adjustable with sliders. Without the cavity map, the skin's reflectivity will be overly strong, with highlights clumping together. With the cavity map applied, the highlights spread out naturally, making the skin more lifelike. CC5 characters also include displacement maps for increased mesh detail. First, drag the displacement map into the texture channel, select the height map option, and export the character to Blender. You'll notice the displacement map is automatically assigned to the shader node, and it can be adjusted with sliders too. Modifying the displacement strength has a visible effect across the entire character mesh. Next, we can apply an animation to the character. Notice how the wrinkling effect now follows all brow and cheek movements. CC5 characters leverage wrinkle displacement to enhance facial realism. You can see three different wrinkle textures, each covering different facial regions. These are separated as individual resource maps for export. Because the character is animated, we'll need to enable the Models with Motions option under the Presets menu. Set the animation range, and then set the subdivision level to 1. Notice how the wrinkle displacement map is split by RGB values in Blender to reduce system load. Each channel affects wrinkle displacement differently. Sliders allow us to fine-tune these effects. 
the higher the strength, the more pronounced the wrinkles, the lower the value, the subtler they appear. With wrinkle displacement enabled, the character's details become more vivid, giving the skin a more tactile and lifelike appearance. By adjusting the wrinkle map's strengths, we can fine-tune the facial wrinkles. Higher values for the Blender wrinkle curve allow wrinkles to gradually appear as facial expressions activate them, while lower values make the wrinkles appear almost instantly. There is also the ability to adjust wrinkles by region. For example, selecting brow raise and modifying its strength lets us control only the wrinkles in that region. Similarly, we can jump to other areas for targeted adjustments. For instance, comparing before and after changes in the cheek raise region. Next, let's talk about the Rigify function and ways to edit the animation. First, select the character to make the CC5 HD option appear under Rigging and Animation. We'll be using the Meta Rig as a binding method, allowing us to quickly adjust the skeleton. Click Rigify to generate the face rig in front of the character. And the face rig works the same way in MetaHuman and iClone face control. Before using the control rig and adjusting the animation, we can switch to solid viewport shading to improve editing performance and reduce iteration time. We can also switch to texture color to inspect texture colors and details, making editing easier. The control rig will be named according to the current character file. To prevent the face rig from blocking the character, we can enter pose mode to isolate the face rig and move it to the side. This also allows us to adjust the face rig's coloring for easier identification. Notice how the face rig rotates with the head turns. To prevent this, we can adjust the head follow setting to lock it in place. Once configured, we can quickly use the face rig to adjust portions of the facial animation. Because CC5 characters use the HD profile with many additional facial morphs, the face rig allows us to easily manage facial expression transitions. For instance, if the character has custom morphs and there's no way to bake them to the control rig, we can use the shape key editor to adjust the custom morph animations. This will create a new action data to store and edit the morph animations. Many additional mouth morphs are also included in the HD profile, so we can use the face rig to quickly create complex and intricate mouth animations. We can also adjust the curve attribute to smooth out the transitions. Notice how older CC3 Plus characters in the previous Auto Setup plugin all use the control rig created by Rigify, which comes with certain limitations. Once the Auto Setup plugin is updated, the CC5 HD option can be enabled for CC3 Plus characters. A control rig will then be created for the extended profile morphs, allowing us to adjust animations sequentially. Let's now go over the animation retargeting function. For animation, it's often better to use lower poly characters for editing performance and then retarget the results to the higher subdivision characters. Back in Character Creator, increase the character to level 2 and export the static mesh to Blender. Notice the significant difference between level 1 and level 2. Level 2 preserves far more mesh level detail. Before retargeting, we should rigify the character and enter pose mode to apply the action. Select the character and launch the shape key editor to apply the shape key animation. We can use the same approach with different poses or animations to retarget the results onto a higher resolution mesh. This method lets us animate more efficiently while still preserving the character's detailed appearance. We can also export different animations for reuse. In Character Creator, export a motion segment. Since the import animation function in Blender does not import a mesh, there's no need to manually set a subdivision level. Back in Blender, click on Import Animations. You'll see that only the skeleton and animation are imported without the mesh. Because the animation and rig are fully compatible, it is automatically applied to the source armature. We can preview the retargeted animation.
If there are no issues, execute Bake Retarget to convert the animation into keyframes. By using the new Auto Setup plugin, we can greatly enhance character detail through the new shaders while streamlining animation editing with the CC5 HD rig. Facial expressions and wrinkle activations are also significantly improved. Thanks for watching.